I'm looking at a massive 300 inch screen right now and it's so low profile nobody will know it fits in the pocket so I've been using the Rokit AR Spatial Kit for a couple weeks now and I find myself using it a lot more than the Apple Vision Pro mounted back there as it's so much more compact weighing only 75 grams it offers direct connection to Nintendo Switch via USB-C port or I can even connect it to my iPhone 16 with this one single cable what's more if I connect it to the MacBook Pro it's plug and play I'm getting a crystal clear and super bright image from this setup so even if I turn the brightness all the way down I can turn this screen off and nobody can see the screen I'm working on it's hard to show exactly what it looks like when looking through these two lens but I managed to capture this clip with my iPhone when I was working in Starbucks editing this video hopefully this gives you a rough idea of what it feels like the text looks very sharp in these OLED screens if the environment is too bright you might want to use the cover to block out the ambient light this piece of hard plastic can be used to attach to the glasses to block the ambient light uh, but I still have the peripheral vision to keep an eye on my surrounding but by using this piece it increases the contrast and uh, image quality of because it's not letting any light in I'm gonna show you the key features you should know and how to make the most out of it such as connecting Bluetooth keyboards for easier and faster input connecting noise cancelling headphones or earbuds when traveling on a plane watch a movie it comes with a hard protective carrying case that fits easily in the backpack unlike the Apple Vision Pro that usually takes half of my backpack space it takes about five seconds to make the connection then I can start watching the previously downloaded offline contents on Netflix or Disney Plus or you can install any other Android apps from the Google Play Store like YouTube, TikTok, VLC player, anything you want. It supports up to three application windows simultaneously and it's a super immersive multi-screen experience. This screen recording was exported directly from Rokit AR Spatial. The background image was added automatically by the screen recorder, but it is pretty close to what I'm seeing. The FOV field of view is 50 degrees, so everything beyond that is real world. And this is a transparent overlay of the reality. The application window can be toggled between theater and multi-window mode. In this example, when I'm watching a YouTube video in theater mode, the screen size can be easily toggled by drag and drop its corner. If I want to run the fourth app, I'll be asked to replace one of the three existing app. By the way, I'm using the Rokit Station 2 handheld device in its ray tracking mode where I just point and click to control the user interface. It can also be used in the touchpad mode in the horizontal and vertical mode as well. The app windows can be easily repositioned and resized. There are three modes for the window size, narrow, wide and ultra wide it also supports sports mode and reading mode in the sports mode the screen automatically adjusts with head movement ideal for planes cars and other on the go settings in the reading mode it automatically brings the screen closer for a comfortable reading experience i actually saw the rokit booth in ces in 2025 in las vegas where Rokit showcased all of its products. Founded in 2014, it started mass-producing consumer AR glasses in 2020. 
The Rokit AR Spatial I'm using is actually the third gen product. Rokit is obviously trying to build its own ecosystem and trying to be the leader in the AR industry. Here's a quick unboxing video and its hardware design details. Beautiful. Looks like a very stylish sunglasses. We got a USB-C port. The front cover can be removed. Rokit Station 2 is the brain. We got a protective case. Fourteen watts. That's pretty fast. The charging speed is quick. The initial setup is pretty simple and straightforward. We take the USB-C right angle adapter, plug it into the glasses. The other end goes to the data port of the Rokit Station 2. Note the other port marked with the lightning icon is for charging. Uh, I can use it and charge it at the same time. That's not a problem. So you can get an additional battery pack and keep this setup going for a very long time. There are vents down here. The Rokit Station 2 is like an Android based phone without the screen. This smooth surface is for uh, controlling the cursor or pointer movements or using it as a pointer making the selection when using the uh, AR glasses. It has volume control on the left side, a menu button and a home button on the right side and a power button to check the battery status, long press and hold to turn the device on or off. Now let's take a look at the AR glasses itself. We got the volume controls and the brightness control buttons on the right side, nothing on the left. Proximity sensor right here. So as soon as I take it off, it powers off the glasses to conserve power. It got built-in stereo speakers and it's super impressive that it has built-in diopter adjustments for both eyes from 0 to minus 6.00D. And I don't have to get specialized, customized inserts, which requires prescription. And you have to pay extra for the uh, vision adjustments on the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, everything is done internally and in a few seconds. I can easily share this VR, AR glasses with family and friends so they can experience the same uh, level of awesomeness from this setup. To pair with Bluetooth accessories, this works exactly like a phone or tablet as you would expect. Go to the settings under Bluetooth, the device will show up in the pairing list. In this example, I'm pairing the Bluetooth keyboard from PortalArc and it connected in a few seconds. Now, instead of using its virtual keyboard, I can use the physical keyboard for any text fields such as the Google search and use its arrow keys to navigate from different search results. It greatly improves productivity and it feels more like a desktop experience with a huge screen in front of me while the Rokit Station 2 serves as a trackpad for mouse movements. Due to copyright concerns, the screen recording for the Netflix and Disney app will not work here. One of the must-have accessory for the Rokit Max 2 is this Rokit Hub. It allows direct VR glasses connection to the Nintendo Switch via its USB-C port with DisplayPort signal and allows charging the Nintendo Switch. As you can see from this setup, I don't have to use the uh, Rokit Station 2 as the video signal input provides power to the VR glasses with one single cable. Let me see if I can show this thing to the camera. It's a full 
1080p HD uh, signal directly to both eyes and it's tracking the head movement or the glasses movement. This thing is awesome. So we can use a huge display when playing games on the Nintendo Switch. Here is a quick overview of its settings where we can change the Wi-Fi connection, the Bluetooth paired devices or initiate pairing, the display, which I think is most the most important one to change the IDP adjustments distance and the background animation. Sound and haptic preferences are also available. Under general, there are lots of basic settings like time, passwords, full screen mode, and storage information. Under belt, there's system upgrade. Once in a while, there's a firmware update. The developer mode is also available to install third-party apps. The floating status bar is always available at the bottom. I think the Rokid Max 2 and its Station 2 is a fantastic value combo kit, considering it is only one-fifth the cost of the Apple Vision Pro and it does most of its core functionalities. One of the reasons why Apple Vision Pro is more expensive is that it has all these fancy features and cameras around this goggle to recreate reality and project them to uh, through these lens in real time. While the Rokid Max 2 took another more cost-effective route, allowing light to pass through these lens and to OLED screens get reflected through these lens, creating a very decent image quality. And even better, when you cover it, as already discussed, the uh, size difference, I think I would rather travel with this smaller package. If you want to grab one, I have a discount code down in the video description. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.